We've made a very good start to 2020 with strong revenue growth across all of our regions and our three therapy areas, oncology, new CVRM, and respiratory and immunology. Overall, revenue grew by 17%. This result reflects the tireless efforts of everyone across AstraZeneca to ensure our medicines continue to reach patients throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. Their commitment has allowed us to continue supplying without any material disruption. We mobilized our team quickly to respond to COVID-19, first in China and then globally, and I could not be prouder of their efforts. We have been working closely with governments around the world, industry and academia, to offer our help and provide solutions to a range of issues. We donated 9 million masks to support healthcare workers across the globe, delivered in collaboration with the World Economic Forum's COVID Action Platform. We are contributing to the government testing effort in the UK with a dedicated site in Cambridge that we are operating in collaboration with JSK and the University of Cambridge with the goal to deliver 30,000 tests a day next month. We also rapidly mobilized research efforts to find new ways to tackle COVID-19, to neutralize the virus, turn off the cytokine storm, and protect our organs. As it relates to neutralizing the virus, we are identifying novel coronavirus neutralizing monoclonal antibodies that can be used for the treatment as well as the prophylaxis of a viral infection. As far as turning off the cytokine storm, we are investigating the use of our BTK inhibitor, acalabrutinib, approved in many countries for the treatment of chronic lymphocytic leukemia in our CALAVI trial. The CALAVI trial aims at suppressing overactive, overactive immune response, or so-called cytokine storms, that inflames the lungs and other organs of some COVID patients. Finally, we're also looking at protecting organs during the COVID-19 disease in our DARE-19 trial. The DARE-19 trial is assessing whether Varsiga, our oral medicine that has demonstrated benefits in heart failure and kidney disease, can actually reduce organ failure in COVID-19 patients. Turning to our business results, standards this quarter include new medicines revenue increasing by 49% and now accounting for almost half of our total revenue. Oncology increased by 34%, new CVRM by 8% and respiratory and immunology by 22%. We also delivered several landmark moments as our pipeline continued to deliver, including US approval of our latest oncology medicine, Coselugo, for pediatric patients with neurofibromatosis. Tagriso's phase 3 Adora trial was stopped early after overwhelming efficacy in the adjuvant treatment of patients with EGFR mutated lung cancer. For the first time, there is no hope of cure for this devastating disease. And while we do anticipate a degree of variation in performance during quarters this year, the progress made on all fronts provides confidence that we will once again meet our commitments. Thank you to everyone across AstraZeneca for all you are doing to help communities, bring our expertise and capabilities to support healthcare workers, patients and government, and to find new treatments and to ensure supply of our medicines. I'm also proud to contribute to the global scientific community efforts to defeat this virus. And on behalf of AstraZeneca, I want to extend our gratitude to all those working in hospitals, in care homes and other such facilities, as well, as well as to those researching new ways to fight this pandemic. We stand with you.